Both cheers and jeers erupted outside the Supreme Court as the announcement was made. Our Nathan King was there. He brings us reaction and looks ahead to how the ruling will affect America. Here outside the U.S. Supreme Court, home to many momentous decisions, legalizing abortion, desegregating American schools, and now same-sex marriage equality throughout this whole country. Sam Cano, hi. You're obviously very happy. Yes, sir. Uh, why is that? Well, because I can be me. I can go anywhere. I can get married now. I can go and be recognized by the United States government as a, as a LGBTQ member of the community. What does this mean for America and the world? America is going to have a, it's still going to be a battle. We're not done fighting. We still have to fight. We want to be friends. We don't want to spread hate. We, we're spreading love. Look at all these people. We're spreading love. Of course, there are dissenters too. Christine Wyke is one of them. Are you disappointed? I'm heartbroken. I mean, I'm sorry, but this has been an emotional day. I've stood here in this spot for 63 days because, number one, I love the Bible. I'm a Bible-believing Christian, and I believe God's Word is true. Number two, I love my country. And what these five justices did today has crossed the line. But that is now a minority opinion. Even though just a few years ago, only about a quarter of the American public supported same-sex marriage, that number today is now over 70%. And now five of the nine Supreme Court justices agree with them. Nathan King, CCTV, at the Supreme Court of the United States in Washington.